Bread is the foundation of our daily meals. It's the number one food on the tables of people all over the world. This is me three years ago, back when I was able to eat bread. These days, whenever I eat wheat, I feel sick. Apparently, my gut gets inflamed when I eat gluten, which causes my stomach aches, headaches, and other delightful symptoms. Is gluten intolerance just a rich white person's problem? No, I don't think so. There's some indication, some anecdotal indication, that there is a link between this hard wheat and people's gluten problems. There is more gluten in wheat now than there used to be. We breed specifically for gluten. Wheat is good for us if we eat it in its whole grain form, but I hasten to add, this is not how Americans eat bread or wheat anymore. 95% at least of the wheat that we eat has been refined, and we uh, pig out on the white flour. There are people with gluten intolerance that can eat a long fermented bread without any problem. Most of the bread that we do get is all donated except for two meals a year. So not feasible for us to use, uh, get donated high quality bread every single day. Celiac and gluten intolerance may be a door through which we can learn something much uh, larger about um, where we've gone wrong in our relationship to these, uh, these plants and these foods that have served us well for thousands and thousands of years. And suddenly that relationship is, is problematic. Um, is that the wheat's fault or is it ours? I don't know whose fault it is. If it's the wheat itself, the way it's milled, the change in fermentation, or all of it. But I can't help but think that what the industry has made cheap and accessible isn't always the best for us. And that's the trouble with bread.